Replacing old and unsafe power poles has been a thorn in the side of Otago's Aurora Energy for a number of years, and it seems consumers are going to pay increased line charges as a result. It's something a former Aurora employee turned whistleblower says has been in the wires for years. Uh, so for three years I've been predicting that this is coming, uh, predicting not only that it was coming, but the degree of harm that this was going to cause. Um, it's one of those days where you just don't want to be right. Dunedin South MP Claire Curran says the price hikes of up to $500 a year are the result of deliberate and sustained negligence, which will impact on people on low fixed incomes. Aurora's Chief Executive Richard Fletcher says the proposed plan is about prudent investment that is essential to meet the needs of our communities now and into the future, to address the errors of the past and position the network for its future use. Richard Healy says the reasons Aurora are giving for the proposed price hike will be cold comfort for those who won't be able to keep warm next winter. Uh, but this is a board who acquiesced to DCC requests for dividends when they really should not. Now, they've said, well, we protested that. Yeah, doesn't really cut it. And I'm sure a pensioner huddled up in two rugs in South Dunedin this winter will feel the same way. Aurora's draft pricing structure outlines a three-year $400 million program to tackle ageing electricity infrastructure in Dunedin, Central Otago and Queenstown. The proposal outlines estimated increases in residential line charges of up to $21 a month in the year ending March 2022 to fund a significant increase in network and related system upgrades and maintenance. Aurora Energy is encouraging customer feedback and says people can learn more details on the consultation website. Drop-in sessions are also being held for those people who prefer to speak face-to-face. -face. In Dunedin, The South Today.